let us come to the to the combination of to the combination of to the combination of resistors series and parallel now this is something that we already know and we have done that in earlier classes but but not their perhaps not their proofs right perhaps not the proofs so so we'll try to prove that here right so what we say is what we say is we have a series of resistors okay so we have a we have a series of resistors like that right like that okay we have a series of resistors Okay, so so let's say there are three resistors. Let us say I have a cell attached here. Okay. Okay. Now, why do you, why do I name it as series circuit? Why do I name it as a series circuit? The same kind is going through all the fields. Yeah, because the current, because the current that is here. Okay. The, the same current tends to flow in all of them without again getting bypassed anywhere so so the current that comes in let's say the current i that enters this and it has nowhere to go right the moment it enters it has to exit r2 and when it exits r2 it has to enter r3 if there was any such takeoff point from here let us say and and it went to some other circuit then you will say that it is not in series because, because somehow the current has taken off. Okay, fine. So, so we say a circuit to be a series circuit if the same current series circuit, not, not necessarily series circuit, the whole circuit can, uh, may not be a series one, right? Here it is. Um, I should say that elements are said to be in series. Okay, so so elements are said to be in series. Elements are said to be are are said to be. said to be in series 
if the same current if the, if the, if the, if the same current passes through them okay if the same current passes through them and and that is exactly the case here so we call it a series circuit i remove this take off point it's not there in the circuit right so so this is a series circuit fine okay so so this current comes in then and same current goes there and the same current goes there it exits from here let this let this cell be e right let let that let, let this be be a series circuit right now what our aim is is our aim is to find out an equivalent circuit okay and what do i mean by equivalent circuit i should be able to replace these three resistors right by a single resistor right then we, we say that we have found an equivalent resistor okay now how do i know that this is equivalent how do i know it is equivalent No, but how do you know that? We do not know yet. Maybe from your earlier studies, you know that this is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R2. Okay. So, so what happens is, is I want to find an equivalent resistance, a resistance that is equivalent to them. And when do I say that it is an equivalent resistance? We say that a resistance is equivalent when on application of the same voltage the same current flows through them okay so so what do i mean to say if i mean to say that if this was a black box if, if this whole thing was not visible to you right if this whole thing was not visible to you and and this too was not visible to you okay what you could see in both the cases was only this this current obviously through an ammeter you will not be able to see the current right and here too here too the current that you could see was this then on application of the same voltage you will get the same current okay what do I mean to say? You will not feel as if something within this black box has changed. Okay? If you were not able to see this whole portion, the, the portion that is enclosed in the dashed box, okay, and, and, and also this, then just by checking the current drawn <coughs> on, on connecting a particular cell, you will not be able to know that it has changed within. That is equivalent. Right? That is equivalence. That is how we define it. Fine. So, so let us try to write the write the KVL here, right? So, so what is that? It is try writing for this circuit. It is E minus. Okay. I I start from here. Let us say I start from here. So I go from negative to positive. So I write plus E. Okay, I go all this way, nothing happens. I encounter a resistor moving in the same direction as the current, so it is negative. Again, the same thing in the same direction minus IR2. Again, the same thing in the same direction minus IR3 is equal to 0. Correct? So, so E is equal to I. R1 plus IR2 plus IR3 which is nothing but I into R1 plus R2 plus R3 so, so E is that 
okay this is equation number one correct now let us come to 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 the second circuit the equivalent circuit right so, so here too i start from this point so it is e minus i r and and since i come back to this i equate it to zero we this is kvl that we are we are applying okay so 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 here it is e is equal to i r right that is the second equation now the left hand side of equation one and two are the same so their rhs can be equated so i write i r equating the rhs of one and two I R is equal to I R one plus R two plus R three. So we get R is equal to R one plus R two plus R three, right? So this is the equivalent resistance. It means when the circuit is in uh, in series, when the elements are in series, when the resistors are in series. In this case, when the resistors are in series, their equivalent resistance is 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 equal to the sum of their individual resistance values, right? So, say if if you if you have. Uh, we had something like 3 ohms okay and say 5 ohms and say 2 ohms in series then this whole thing is equivalent to these three lines mean equivalent to right instead of equal to it says equivalent to equivalent to okay this is equivalent to the sum of these right so so this is equal to 10 ohms see that that is 10 ohms okay fine what if the circuit so so we we did the did the first thing that elements are in series elements in series i should not say elements currently i am doing currently i am doing resistors right so i should write resistors in series I would have called it elements if, if it was say something other than the resistor, say say if it was an inductor or capacitor, and I did not want to distinguish, I just wanted to to say say uh, any any of these, then I'll I'll normally use elements, right? Okay, this is also an element of the circuit, the, the cell also, right? So 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 the second case is the, that of the resistors in parallel. Okay. Resistors in parallel. Now, one of the biggest problems that that we face is, is is we are not able to distinguish between the series and the parallel, right? That we should be extremely clear about. In a given circuit, looking at it and telling that it is in series is is a skill that we should develop, right? Now series as I told you is at times easy to understand but not the parallel one okay because many a times the parallel characteristic of the circuit remains hidden okay I'll, I'll show you how you have to do some jugglery 
you'll have to do something to bring it out otherwise it's not look to be parallel fine the series normally is easy going so, so you can see that it is in series but parallelism I'll show you is something that creates a difficulty so 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 a circuit like that So you have you have a hold on, first of all, let me draw those resistors, right? Say this is R1. Okay, this is R1, and this is say R2, and this is R3, right? Now we have at the outset said that they are in parallel, right? They are in parallel. Now, now let's try to understand. So, so what happens is, is, is say this is E, right? This is E. Okay. Now how do I know that they are in parallel? Let us come to that. So, so elements are in parallel. So resistors, so resistors are said to be in parallel. Resistors are said to be in parallel if they have the same potential applied across them. Applied across them. What do you mean to say? I mean to say that the potential at this point and this point, I, I do not mean to say they are the same, right? The potential when they have the same, I should not say potential, I should say potential difference. Okay? The potential difference. Applied across them, right? Now, how do I know that? Okay, so so let us say let us let us name this terminal A, right? And and this 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 terminal B, okay? Now these are the contact wires, connecting wires, and they have zero resistances, okay? So when you slide along the zero resistance wire. The potential all across remains the same okay that remains the same so the potential here is the same as potential here the potential here is the same as potential here all along the wire it's it's also the same here so this is 
the potential whatever is the potential at point A and that is what the potential of the positive terminal right whatever is the potential at point A here here is also the potential here and we have more more of these connecting wires so, so the potential here and potential here so even the potential here is the same and I glide along the same connecting wire the potential here is the same and glide along the same connecting wire and the potential here, 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 here is the same get that now I come here the negative term I, I have named it as B so whatever is the potential at B the potential at this point the potential at this point the potential at this point is the same and we have further connecting wires so, so the potential at, at, at this point is B the potential at this point is B the potential at this point is also B right now the potential across this resistor is is what on one side of it it is it is it is say, say, say let's call this potential as VA so it is VA right this is also VA this is also VA the potential at this end is is, is we say VB so potential here to is VB and the potential here to is VB and the potential here to is VB the potential here also was VB the potential here was VA right now what is the potential across this element this resistor it is VA minus VB okay and across this it is VA minus VB and across this it is VA minus VB are, are these three three having the same potential difference across them yes yes so they are in parallel so in a given situation in a circuit if, if it is not readily apparent that they are in parallel normally this kind of thing a ladder sort of thing with connecting wires that is what we associate with with the, with the resistors being parallel right this is this is normally what we do but there is there are situations where you'll not be given something like that and they'll still be in parallel I, i'll show that to you when i solve an example of this so so this is how you arrive at that okay so so you, you name it across across something and then you'll start getting it right fine so so now when that is the case so what what are we trying to say that that the potential across these resistors is the same as the potential across across this right that means the whole cell potential somehow got applied across the resistors right see right so so now now let let the current here be i1 and the current here be i2 why because 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 ultimately the current is getting shared it is it's getting divided at this junction this is a junction right so so we can apply a kcl there and let me let me remove this okay so so, so let this current be i3 or if you want to write it write it here here okay now now let this current be i so what happens obviously i is equal to the incoming current to this junction is i and the outgoing are i1 i2 i3 so what happens i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 right acl at junction junction let us name it a okay so that is equal to i correct and 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 we have we again have that equivalence right the concept of equivalence and, and we have said that that equivalence is when when this whole thing is a the, the whole thing is a black box you're not able to see it and the current on application of a particular cell voltage is the same it remains the same right so
so this is this is uh, uh, this is the same as as we had done in the series circuit so i've just copied it and and will try to paste it okay so it is the same thing the circuit looks something like that the equivalent circuit is something like that okay so so what happens is now now I've already written an I there. Right? Now, what is I one? What is I one? See, I one into R one is what? One. By Ohm's law, what is I one R one is equal to the potential across this, which is what? Which is which is V minus V B, which is what? Which is E? Right, V A <coughs> V A minus V B is E, right? So, so by Ohm's law, what do you get? We get that that I one R one is equal to E, is it not? And I two R2 is again E. Why? Because the, the potential difference across them remains the same. And I3, R3 is E. Is it not? So what is I1 equal to? I1 is equal to E upon R1. And I2 becomes E upon R2. And I3 becomes E upon R3, right? So, so this is nothing but E upon R1 plus E upon R2, E upon R2 and plus E upon R3, right? Which is nothing but I, I I I can I can take this e out so it is one upon r one plus one upon r two plus one upon r three okay and and this here the, in the equivalent circuit the 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 potential is again the same if if this is v a and, and this is v b then obviously this is also v a and this is also VB. So, so, and, and that is E, right? So, so this potential difference, this positive, this negative, this is this is again E. So, so again by Ohm's law, we see that I into R is equal to E. So, I is equal to E upon R, right? Or, or we could have straightway written this by a KVL also, okay? As, as in the last case. That would have given you the same result, right? So, so if you had said that it is E moving from here to here it is positive minus I R is equal to zero, it would have given you the same thing. It implies that E is equal to I R, right? Means E is equal to I R. So I I is equal to E upon R. Fine. Now, now what happens is, what happens is, the I here, I is equal to that, and I here, right? So equation number one and equation number two. From equation one and two, from equation one and two, we have. We have. E upon R, E upon R is equal to E into 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3, right? So, so 1 upon R, so 1 upon R is equal to 1 upon R1 
plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 a and this becomes the, the formula so this is the formula for the parallel of for when the resistors are in parallel now now there is a normal danger that is associated i see children calculating this okay and just reporting this as r it is 1 upon r that you have calculated so do not forget to take the reciprocal and give me the value of r right now there are two things that i'd like to say about this the first thing is that when the when the resistors are in series the resultant the resultant or the equivalent resistance is greater than the greatest resistance greatest individual resistance that you have that that's pretty trivial right because these are positive numbers that are getting added so when the circuits are in series when the, the when the when the when the resistors are in series when the resistors not the circuit right when the resistors are in series the 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 equivalent or or we also call it a resultant right the equivalent that we also decide to call or the resultant resistance is greater than is greater than the largest individual resistance value right this is what happens when they are in series fine when the resistors are in parallel Again, the same thing. The, the equivalent, which we also call a resultant resistance, is is lower than the lowest individual resistance. Okay, than the lowest individual. resistance value get that so 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 let me show that to you let us say i have 2 ohm 3 ohm and 4 ohm are in are in parallel okay so so, so let us say let us say 2 ohm and 3 ohm and 4 ohm are in parallel now what happens we, we know that 1 upon r will be 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 4 and and how do I calculate that I take an LCM what is the LCM 12 12 is the LCM and, and make make all these denominators 12 for that you'll have to multiply this by 6 so 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 you have a 6 here and a 4 here and a 3 here that is that is that is nothing but but 13 upon 12 now that is the pitfall I'm asking I, I'm telling you about 13 upon 12 is one point something that is lesser than all of them so you might kind of think that it is the value but no it is actually the value of 1 upon r so r is nothing but 12 upon 13 so this this is this is 
this is less than 1, right? The denominator being greater than the numerator. Now, when you proceed further, I do not even want you, want you to use this because many a times, many a times we are given only two resistors, okay? Only two resistors. Many a time we are given only two resistors or even if there are three, find out the equivalent resistance of two parallels and then, then go to the third one, okay? I'll, I'll show you. So if I have only two resistors, then 1 upon R is definitely this. And, and what is the LCM? It is R1, R2. And if I multiply numerator and denominator by R2, I get a get a R2 in the numerator here and an R1 in the numerator here, right? And that is equal to 1 by R. So what is R equal to? R is equal to R1, R2 upon R1 plus R2, correct? So, so R directly becomes product upon the sum of the resistors, right? Now that comes handy in so many cases and, and, and it eliminates the possibility of not taking the reciprocal as, as could have been there, right? I again show you, if I am given only 2 and 3, then you, then you see 2, 3 in parallel, what, what is the equivalent resistance? R is 6, the product upon the sum 5, 1.2 ohm straight away, correct? 1.2. Now let us, let us say that the third one is also parallel, okay, so, 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 so say this, this, is, uh, this is the parallel of the two. The parallel of the of 1.2 and 4 is what? Again the product. So 4 into 1.2 divided by the sum 5.5.2. 5 4 plus 1.2 is 5.2. This is nothing but 4.8 upon 5.2, which is nothing but 48 upon 52, which is nothing but there is a 4 common in both, both the numerator and denominator. 12 upon 30 which is what you got here, okay? So at times, though, though, though it will look cumbersome to start with, but with practice, you see that this is a better one to do, right? And it saves a lot of time, correct? So assigning, assigning the, the voltage terminals as, as, as VA, VB, VC to check whether something is in parallel and then using this formula, that will actually help you in, 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 first of all, telling you that the resistors are in parallel and then finding out that equivalent parallel resistance, right?